Welcome back. Welcome back. This video here is going to be on um, it's, this, it's this YouTube channel I've been watching. Parking Revenge. Pretty good YouTube channel for the most part, you know. And watch, um, I think he up to probably about 240 something. That's what I've seen so far. Um, go by the uh, channel Tow Trucker. We'd have to um, E at the, in the trucker. Um, this video is a particular one. It's Parking Revenge number 229. Now, nah, he's going into the um, trailer park. He's going to a trailer park community or whatever to tow his vehicle. So let's get, let's, let's just jump right into this. And, uh, let's just jump right into this and start viewing this. I'm going to go to about right here. Basically, I'm giving a quick description. Privacy management called him in, said some of my code enforcement the vehicle been parked here about three months. They haven't moved, probably no run, expired tags or whatever. Now, he's saying because code enforcement can, could come by and give the property, the property management or the place, uh, uh, a violation, write them up or whatever, so then they got to pay a thousand dollar fine or however much the, that fine is for code enforcement violations and everything. So basically, I got this guy, uh, tow truck out there removing cars, towing cars, and everything. And a guy out there, and he supposedly had 30 minutes that day or two hours before to remove the vehicle. Plus two and a half hours ago, past tow truck come up. He come to tow the car. Dude trying to tow trucker trying to get the vehicle and everything, but the guy is blocking him from um, hooking up to it with the wheel lift. Now he's saying that he got to remove the car. He got to remove the car. Ain't nothing he could do about it and stuff. He got to move the car and stuff. He had to move. He said, "I don't have to move and everything. You have to call the police out here to get this car and everything." So. Project manager comes back over there. Tell him, got called the police. This car going to get leaved off me, move or whatever. The police show up. And one who, the officer who showed up tell him, ain't nothing he could do about it. It's a civil matter. The police cannot force him to move and give up his property. They cannot force him to move and let his car be towed and everything. That's his property. It's a civil matter. Ain't nothing he can do. The car been there for three months. Or whatever, and even though he's not leased to the property, is um the guy daughter leased to the property? The car been there, and it's a private thing going on, so ain't nothing the police can do. So he said, get the tow truck. The tow trucker said, tell the officers and stuff that they are wrong. Get your, get your uh, sergeant out here. Blah 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 blah, and I'm roll it on from here. Oh, he said he's going. He, he's going to move it. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how. That's in the three months. It don't run then. Shit well, don't. It ain't no tag. No sure. Yeah. Yeah. I I had she called the man. Called the police and everything. Yeah. We'll see here. What's up to do when they get here? Here you go. This is where a tow truck get out the truck. He go stand up and go talk to the police officer. He's got to tell the police officer the law. I understand, but... Yeah, I'm going to move it, guys. He's going to move it, okay? I can't authorize you. I can't make him give you his view because it's private property. Okay? You can't... Listen, you, you, listen you're supposed to keep him from interfering if I'm towing the car. No, I'm not. Yes, yes, no, you are. private property. 
that, that's where you're wrong. It, it, it's a Listen, I, I, I've done more of these impounds and calls than you've had. I do this for, a, for a, hey, we're okay. supposed to be able to remove that car without him interfering because okay. it's their property, not, not yours, not mine. It's their property. And me personally, I could care less. It don't make a difference. If you care less, less, you wouldn't be property. They want it gone. pushing to They're try to get to the car. They're supposed to be able to remove that, that car without him interfering okay. in it because it's not but supposed it's to be here. It's a civil here. issue. Yeah. Okay? I can't enforce yeah. civil issues on yeah. private property. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And my job is to make sure things don't yeah. escalate. Yeah. So if I back up and load the car right now, you're supposed to make sure he don't do anything That's about it. Not Yes, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not. I right, call your sergeant out here then. Okay. Yeah, call your sergeant out here. Yes, we'll it is what you tell call your sergeant. Out gone, it's, it's their right to remove I'll, it. I'll get a sergeant out Okay, get a sergeant out here. The sergeant will come out here and say the same no, thing. No, he just he he just don't he ain't done these calls, he don't know. That's all. Hey, if you can move it, hey, if you can move it, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to move it now. You can't wait because we're fixing to tow it. Listen, listen. I, I'm just I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to hate on you. I ain't, I ain't trying to hate. Yeah, yeah. Take it with you. Yeah, so, yeah. That's fine. But you, but the thing is that they they want they want the car gone because it's not up to tow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you, are, are you are you are you signed to the? Are you on the contract? He he so reaching too far. He don't, he don't, that's not his job. Yeah. So you're towing a visitor's car. Listen, that car been sitting there for three months, man. You you don't you, you don't even listen. You're here. Yeah. 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 And I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna show my wife. Come out here with these clothes. Okay. It's the manager right here. I'm good, Maddie. Good. So, basically, what's happening is the reason that you're using the vehicle is because that you get hired and not moving vehicles are not allowed to run. We're gonna stand up, but this is a private property. We don't report this coverage. It's, it's a civil issue. Okay. So, um, we, I can't make him release his vehicle to be towed. Because it's parked at a property he's visited. Okay, right. but it's been there and we've had several okay. warnings on it. I, so I when we get three warnings and then we get it told. That doesn't mean you get the property though. The property is ours though. Not that far. Correct, but he's on our property, our property and then there's a sign in the front that states any unauthorized vehicles are not allowed. The apartment complex so that be he, reaching too much. He told you he was moving it. I said, not a problem. Gave him 30 minutes. It's been three hours already. Okay. So all we did was call our truck truck company to have it towed, and he's just having a problem. All we want to do is just have it removed. If he moves it, okay, great. But at this point, it was already worn, and it have, we have it been written, and we have stickers, we have pictures. So we just, if he wants The issue is, it's his property, parked on private property, where he's visiting, he's leasing it from you, correct? Mm -hmm. He's on the lease. I, I understand, but he's a guest of the people on the lease. I, I, okay. I guess. Okay, right. No, so, at this point, it's a civil issue between that car and you guys. So you, you would have to take him to court. Yeah. Well, she can violating have. Violating your policies and stuff like that. But as of right now, I yeah. can't force um, him to release well, his she, vehicle to be yeah. towed. You can try you could trespass him off the property if you wanted to. That's up to you and I explain that. You could trespass him off the property right now. He's not on the lease. I'm not saying you should. He's gonna move the car and all that, but you have the right to remove him off the property and his car. Period. That's just the way the law is. It's your property. Hey, I'm gonna roll out. Thank y'all. <laughs> So we get to tell the officers laws and codes about what they can it and what they should do as far as that he's reaching he's reaching trying to get some cars towed and everything trying to keep the contract with this apartment with his um management or this trailer home area 
So, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on right here. You park your car that, for whatever reason, just say tag expired, you ain't got the money to get it up. Let's just say car break it down, you ain't got the money to fix it right now. Um, let's just say yo, yo, you, was, you was sick or something and your car was left at your family house or whatever stuff. Car parking, even if it's up to date or whatever, say tire go flat on or whatever, they would tow your car because of that. Now, with code enforcement, who is code enforcement? Code enforcement is the government, is the state, city, or whatever and stuff. So, code enforcement could tow your car for, code, code enforcement could write, write up the property in violation for a vehicle that's not up to part, as in updated tags, flat tires, uh, damaged vehicles, and a vehicle just been sitting too long and stuff. Code enforcement can go around and do all these things. Property, the property management got to try to keep the property up because they don't want to get pay a thousand dollar fine or whatever the, the fine fee, seven hundred dollars, whatever the fine fee is for these code violations of said property for vehicles that don't look up to part or just not up to part with tags and everything. Again, code enforcement is the city and the state. Now, code enforcement can ride ride around, run tags, or look at tags. Are the tag expired? This car just sitting there. Tell the project manager I'm getting, I'm getting um, a violation for this vehicle, that vehicle, that vehicle, that vehicle, whatever. So, again, code enforcement is the city. So, not only do you have to register your vehicle every year, and keep updated tags. You have to worry about your car being told if it's not up to part, if the tag is not up to date, or if you have get a, have a flat tire or some type of say you was in an accident and the car is repairable and stuff, but you just don't have the money to repair it right away, and then you got to pay a towing fee, all because of code enforcement. In the city, now the city runs the code enforcement right around properties. Want to get cars towed or had the tags up to date? This uh, city runs the DMV, so you get your car registered, pay taxes, and get your car registered every year. Car get towed. Pay taxes for the, the tow fee. You pay the tow company, and they pay the city or whatever. The part of the portion of um, the payment. So let's just say this vehicle. You got a vehicle that's not at the park. No tag or whatever. No tag, whatever done to it. Um, that's not at the park. Tow truck come get this car. The city makes money off of the tow truck company for towing cars, then let's just say nobody come get the car out the impound. The tow truck company, they pay for the title from the city. That's another tax bill that the city collect off of through enforcement. Cause now the car in the impound through an enforcement violation for a management property and they got the car towed. So then, so the tow truck company Pays for the title so that they can auction it, auction that car off. Then the city still make money off of the tow truck company from getting a new tag, and getting a new um, title. And then once they sell the car, the city still get the city and the state still get taxes off of that. So then after that, the new buyer pay taxes for buying the. For buying the um, car, then he turns around and pays taxes to get the vehicle registered. And every year, 
the same process keep going the same thing keep going i know i'm going on a little bit of rant but understand where i'm going at with this this taxation of people every year every year you get taxed for registration you get taxed for tow bills to get your car back out the impound lot the city is making money off of it and back to tow truckers so i just feel like i just feel like in this in this uh particular with this particular incident and stuff like he just been he was like kind of really he was kind of really pushing a situation that he didn't really have the the say to do so he just you just work for he just worked for a tow truck company and that's his job to tow vehicles and everything now after the police did get involved and the guys did say he was going to get the car moved and he was going to move the car well so it doesn't matter if it's been three hours since he had his last warning and before you showed up it doesn't matter. He says, get in the car, roll. You're not going to tow the car. You can't tow the car. Then the police got involved. And then the police, one police officer said, you can't tow the car. He can't make you, um, let you tow the car or make you tow the car and everything. Then his sergeant showed up and showed, and told you the same thing. And you, I just feel like in this particular, you, he was pushing it. He was pushing a, a situation that he really had no control or say so over and stuff now it's one thing to be able to hook the car and the person is not out there and you take and you be able to get the car in, in tow ain't no argument or no thing about it but when you have the person out there that prevent you from taking a car and the police come out there and say you can't take the car that is dead that's a private property is private property it's not it's private property it's private property so yeah this this is what you call just a little bit of um this this video was just a little it's it's, it's a little bit of nerve wracking and I, you can see how easy can get hostile and stuff because of because of the situation of the vehicle being taken even if there's no tag the tag now up to date and it's not running it's still the man property and it's still a, a private it's still a private residence and his daughter is on the lease and the car is being stored there but once the police say it there's nothing you can do about it or you uh they can't make you let you take his car or make you take his car he's not and they don't operate like that for only way police can force somebody to move out the way so if the car was being repossessed you're not a re, you're not repossessing cars that law happens on the on that law what she was what he was saying was that that the police can um make him move out the way and stuff that only applies for repossessions you're not a you're not a repossession you just a uh, tow guy for the property uh managers so yeah that's just um my little input put on this situation what do y'all think in the comment y'all go ahead uh get down in the comments and uh get y'all inputs on this